We are here at Marsis Revolution in London, and I am so excited to have Rob Revholds from Optilize here with us. Thank you so much for being on the show and being here at the event, Rob. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so you're here at Revolution, not just attending, but you spoke a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. um, before we get into that, what are you thinking about the event so far? Love it. Love it. Yeah. I mean, uh, this is even better than uh, the event in Berlin last year. So yeah. really excited. Yeah. Great. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're having a great time. Let's get into what you spoke about a little bit mm -hmm. earlier today. So, which is direct mail, <laughs> right? So, yes, we're here. Yes, it is 2018. Yeah. For, some, for some people, it's like, oh, yeah, direct mail is definitely a part of our marketing uh -huh. mix. And for others, it's like, you mean like, like mailbox mail, like Letters, printed, yeah. printed <laughs> paper? Um, but it, it's very much alive and well. So yeah. without further ado, you, tell us your side <laughs> of things. Yeah, so basically what we are is a solution to automate and personalize the direct mail, right? Because what we see is it's still huge, right? It's still a huge industry. It's still very important for, for companies' marketing mix. Um, and, but everybody was like struggling to move away from, you know, the whole mass marketing. I'm going to send the same kind of catalog to people three times a year to how can I think about really personalized experiences, event-based triggers and touch points? And that's kind of what we, what we enable with, with our software. Fantastic. Yeah. And I know that we're working together too, yeah. Marsis and Optilize, yes. so yeah. great things ahead. Yeah. So, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what, where direct mail fits into the marketing mix today? What does mm -hmm. that look like? Mm -hmm. So when I talk to people, I usually tell them like there's no perfect channel, right? There is an if you can send people an email and if they actually if you have an opt-in and if they actually read that email perfect that's definitely a superior way to get in touch with people or a cheaper way as well um, but if that doesn't work because you don't have an opt-in or maybe you have a complex uh, product where you need explanation you don't have an immediate purchasing decision because you know people have to think about it sometimes sending a letter makes sense right and that will be end up on their kitchen table they will think about it and convert at a later stage right so so ultimately I think uh, direct mail is a channel that has a, it's, it's not a cheap channel right but there's a lot of opportunities kind of ways to use it and to integrate it with other channels and, and that's kind of what we see and how we kind of uh, enable companies to take advantage of the benefits huh yeah yeah I mean and it's you're talking about like the expense and I think yeah. Any channel is an investment, yeah. right? Any channel is an investment. It's all in what you get out of it. So, that said, what are what are some of the things that you are seeing come out of it? What are some of the results that you're seeing? Yeah. I mean, what we see is that um, it's like in terms of conversion rates, it's it's super um, super uh, impressive, right? The average conversion rate that we see is like 3.7 percent. That's across industries, across use cases. But overall, what we see is that people they don't use it as a branding channel, right? It's not. It's not this channel that you that you use to uh, kind of to give people something like a physical exp uh, experience, and that's it. But it's something that people use as a performance channel and um, to run very profitable campaigns, and and that's kind of the, the exciting thing about it. And I know for us at Amarsis, I mean. We do direct, do direct mail yeah. too, and to reach some of our clients and prospects, and, and we're very happy with and it. And you use us. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, so it's um, yeah. I mean, there's so much that you can do, and it, it has moved so far beyond, yeah. um, you know, just sending postcards yeah. and catalogs. Yeah. And so, what are some of the innovative ways that you're seeing direct mail be used? Yeah. I mean, what we see is that use cases are evolving. Right in the past, it was just too complex to think about, like small batches very personalized uh, mailings, right? Because it's just, it, it wasn't worth it, right? And what, what we're doing is basically, by integrating into masses, for instance, right? We enable companies to think about very uh, low volume use case, very specific touch points, highly personalized, that generate very impressive performance, right? Like stuff like cart abandonment campaigns. Uh, literally, somebody went to the website, uh, was it gonna make a purchase, didn't end up buying the product, and then, Two, you know, two days later, they may have a letter in their mailbox with an offer for that product. You always have to make sure it's not too creepy, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> um, but, but things like that, they, they weren't possible. And now, all of a sudden, you can, can think about these use cases. That's super exciting. Um, and it goes further to stuff like second order push campaigns, right? Where you had to f you acquired a customer online, they made their first order, didn't end up buying a second time. You think about like, how do I engage that person to, to make further purchases? And all of these things are super interesting. 
And the deeper you integrate us into your omni-channel strategy and the more you use data, like every other channel, yeah. by the way, <laughs> um, the better, the, better the, the results, right? And that's, that's really what we want to enable. We want to kind of take the work out of um, running this channel, enable people to think about you know, strategies and, uh, and, and relevance and that kind of stuff. And I love that because I think that all too often, because direct mail is as thought of as, as old yeah. and it's, it's print and it's, you know, it's cumbersome, but that's so yeah. not the case. Yeah. And obviously, I mean, you have all this customer data, you have the same amount of data, the same exact data that you have yeah. with email or SMS or social or, you know, web channel, yeah. anything. Why not apply yeah. it to something physical yeah. and, and reach somebody in that way, yeah. right? So. I love that. So, tell us a little bit about. You mentioned omnichannel. Yeah. How how do you see direct mail fitting into yeah. the omnichannel the overall omnichannel yeah. strategy? Yeah. So what we see is, you know, the first step is kind of think about personalizing direct mail by itself, huh? and and then the second step is think about omnichannel, right? Think about combining channels. And I mean, what we see, we have customers that only by combining uh, email and direct mail, all of a sudden they manage to double conversion rates. And, and that's, that's trivial. Sometimes it's even triv almost trivial stuff, right? It's like stuff like you send an email to people and you tell them, hey, you're going to receive something in the mail in the next couple of days. And then they get a letter. And all of a sudden, you have a major conversion rate boost just by kind of combining these channels in a very straightforward way. And then, all of, of, of course, you can think about further combinations of channels, about um, messages that are aligned across channels versus um, having your online marketing team and then the guys doing print, right? right. Uh, the, 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 that, Break down those that, silos. That, yeah, exactly. That department somewhere <laughs> in the basement, right? The They've been there department. like for 50 years. Exactly. No, but that's, that's really that's, that's what's changing, right? We, what we see is that direct mail is moving from like this, this print department, that's literally like what, what people would call it, yeah. into CRM. And all of, all of a sudden, like these, these, these amazing things happen and in terms of combining channels and yeah. uh, generating an oh, entirely different kind of performance and customer experience. And that's, mm -hmm. that's why, I mean, um, why we love stuff like uh, like this event, right, where, where people think about these things and we can bring this channel and kind of add it to the conversation. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, there's so much, I'm glad, literally I was thinking experience when you said the word customer experience <laughs> because that's... It's certainly not new. The yeah. concept is not new, no. but it's yeah. it's very it's risen to the surface. It's come to the forefront as it should because mm -hmm. that's why are we doing personalization because of the experience. Yeah. Why are we trying to you know meet the customer when they want something, where they want something, mm -hmm. or the channel they want something because of the experience. And I mean, I for one, again, this this conference has been all about consumer first, marketer second, mm -hmm. and all of us. I mean, that that experience that we have is not limited to our devices and our technology. Yeah. It's where we are. Yeah. It's, you know, what arrives in our mailbox. Yeah. It's, it's how we experience a brand in every way, shape or form. So I'm really excited to see print kind of, <laughs> kind of get, get refreshed, right? Because Back it's, in the game, huh? Exactly. And it's, it's so much more than, than postcards. So what are some of the, the things that you've enjoyed seeing most yeah. come to life? What are some of the projects that you've been in on or that you've seen happen that, that you think are really interesting ways to, to use direct mail? Wow, that's a tough question. <laughs> Anything um, that you've seen I'm, recently that you I'm, thought was pretty cool? You know, I am always excited uh, when people start to truly use data. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we talked about picture personalization. Mm -hmm. So, right, what people have traditionally done, right, you would have text personalization. And it would start with, people would say, hey, I'm, I'm going to send a letter and it's going to say, hi, uh, Mr. Whatever, and that, yeah. uh, uh, and they would already it's personalized. It great, yeah. <laughs> um, but but what I see or what we see right now is that people have, for example, they have recommend product recommendation engines, uh, and all of a sudden when you when you go in and you tell people, hey, I'm I'm writing to you because you're relevant because of this and that reason because you purchased X days ago, and here's a couple of recommended products, or here's a couple of products like we have, for example, wine. Wine e-commerce companies, right? That really know what kind of wines people like to drink mm -hmm. and what they should be trying. So rather than sending out catalogs or you know a standard offer, they would, they can literally tell people, hey, this is this is what you should be trying. This is what you what what would really excite you, and, yeah. and they could generate. I mean, not only very profitable campaigns, but very happy customers, right? In the yeah. long run, that are like, okay, you understand me, you get my tastes, etc. Basically, I mean, gr what's great is when you when you think about 
uh, like the, the personalized content where you, where you truly have products that people need and want, um, like their favorite wines, their favorite, their, the, the wines that they should be liking right. and, and stuff like that that you send to them. Um, that, that truly feels like you're, you're understood by, by the company. You yeah, know? yeah, especially things like wine or something like that where part of the ex experience yeah. is getting recommendations. Like yeah. um, there, are some, there are some products that you go in and you're like, nope, I want this thing, huh. this is the thing that I like and I want it and yeah. I basically want to know what, when you have deals. Yeah. But something like, like wine, um, it's nice to have somebody say, you know what, I know you well enough and you bought these things for me, I think that you'd like this. Yep. And that you can do that without actually going into a store. You can do that via direct mail or exactly. email or something. Yeah. So I love yeah, that. That's, yeah, that stuff is, that's exactly kind of the stuff that um, that makes us powerful, right? Where we, I mean, it, it starts with fashion. We have fashion companies that before they used us, they would send the same kind of offering to men and women. Ah. Right? And it's, I mean, I'm not talking about something that's complex, right? It's, yeah. But all of a sudden you're differentiating Don't send a dress coupon to, you know, to... Right? What, what excites us is, like if we look at fashion companies, right? If all of a sudden you move away from sending the same kind of incentive or the same kind of visual to men and women to differentiate between men and women and you look right. at categories and all of a sudden you've got luxury, sports, etc. And there's, it's not that difficult setting that stuff up if right. you have the right tools. And the right data. Uh, and the right, right data, yeah. exactly. And all of a sudden you see these amazing performance uplifts and people start to think about these crazy things. We've got companies that optimize you know, taglines in postcards and that's, that's unseen in, uh, in, our, yeah. in that industry. Huh? Yeah. yeah, and so it's nice because, again, what, what's, what's old is new because uh -huh. of what you can do with yeah. it. The situation that we're in right now is that you have the chance to capture people by surprise, yeah. right? Because they're not expecting uh -huh. to get personalized, uh -huh. like truly personalized and relevant yeah. direct mail. Yeah. So. It's, it's that and it's what's funny is, uh, you know, we are very often have conversations about audience or demographics who would like direct mail and initially people are always like, oh, it would be old people that love this stuff. What we've seen is that, um, talking about surprising people, right? Especially with young audiences, uh -huh you can blow their mind by sending them direct mail, right? Because yeah. they're not used to it. They have like ad blockers, they, are not, they really get too many new. emails, and all of a sudden they have something in their mailbox. Um, so it's really exciting. Hmm. Unless, uh, right, uh, of course, the, or the challenge you have with young people, okay, of course, they move a lot more, right? That's true. You need to make sure that you always know where they are. Yeah. Uh, but this is, this is something that's really exciting that you can, like, all demographics and all kinds of thing, use case, etc. Very interesting. One thing we always do on this show is we talk about the future of marketing. Yeah. So I could probably guess what you're going to say you see coming <laughs> <laughs> to the future of marketing, but maybe you'll surprise me. Um, what's something that oh, you see? Oh, that's mean. <laughs> I, I, I would be, it would be totally fine if you ran where I think you're going to go. But what, what do you think is something coming to us as marketers? Um, to be honest, what, I, what excites me is something that people talk a lot uh, um, about right, right, right here at the mass revolution is I think we're moving into an era where people uh, have more time to think about strategy and truly relevant content versus just the, just yeah, basic basic automated mm -hmm. uh, segmented campaigns right so I think that that's something that really excites me and that's um, what I think is a lot more fun than you know having to focus too much on technology and not having the time to think about Definitely. the consumer. Yeah, yeah, and probably some more direct mail. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I think is coming. So, okay. And last but not least, are you up for some rapid fire before we sure. let you go on your way? Sure. Okay. Question number one: If you had to summarize marketing in one word for today, mm -hmm. what would it be? Complex. I like it. How about something that you wish marketers knew, but you're pretty sure they don't? Now I was going to say that direct mail is an awesome channel, huh? Go ahead and say it. I like it. Here we go. Yeah, that's <laughs> direct it. mail is an awesome channel. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're starting to be convinced. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. And lastly, what um, is some content that you've consumed recently that you would recommend to our audience? I listen to a lot of podcasts. Uh, I mean, um, I listen to like all of the Tim Ferriss stuff, yeah. like all of all of these things like you know you in the morning like in the morning on the way to to work I, I, I love I love that that stuff I think that's always that's always very insightful motivating Definitely. <laughs> and where can people find you and more information about Optilize uh, on the Emasis uh, yes. <laughs> website um, we're uh, Ima called Emasis offline mail right but obviously also on our website uh, optilize.com
Fantastic. And yeah, I'm always happy to, to talk to people, um, whether it is companies that haven't done the stuff, right? Like we have a lot of e-commerce companies that haven't done direct mail and then yeah. started to scale it with us. Uh, but also the companies that have done this for like 50 years and, you know, are starting to think about uh, different ways Getting or more advanced of ways of, of using this channel. I love it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Rob. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here at Revolution. Thanks thank for you. speaking and thanks for being here on the show today.